All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to start with is making our paint pot messy, messy, messy. So you're going to pick your first bottle of paint and you'll probably use the whole bottle of paint. Okay, I'm going to just to see if I can tip my camera down. Here you go, so you can see it. <coughs> and I think I'm going to start with red. And you're going to, oh, mine still has the seal on it. So I'm going to have to pop that seal off really quick. And then once you've got your paint open, you're going to just pour it all on the top. And the idea is we want it to kind of fall down the outside. So this is where it gets a little bit messy because you can use a paintbrush or you can use your finger. So encourage it to go down the outside. And we want it to drip, drip, drip. Ooh, I'm going to need more paint. I think we'll have to do a little stop in this session so we can wash our hands. And I like getting paint on my hands, but not everybody does. So that's why you can use a paintbrush or something else to make it pour off the outside. And then when you think you've got enough of one color, you can start on another color. And these might take a little while to dry, so you might have to come back to these, okay? Oh, I don't know if you can see it, it's getting super messy. My next color I think I'm going to use is blue. This really bright blue that I love. Oh, oh, here comes Rachel. And then you can just push that on the outside too. It creates kind of layers of paint. I think she's, is she waiting to be let in, Jane? Uh, I've let her in. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. How are you guys doing? Is it all going over the edges okay? colors over each other yeah and they kind of create layers and they swirl together right so um Myla is pretty good do you yeah see it's awesome and whenever you're ready if you've got a third paint you want to use go ahead and open that up and when I picked this up this morning it was gold and who did I think of straight away Vinny, because I think Vinny loves gold, right? This is gold. So you can go ahead and plop I some of this on that. too. Oh, wow. I'm getting messy. Okay. Let's go. I'm using gold. Take a got gold too? Yep. Awesome. You're going to pick that one? Yeah, it's make that one look pretty. Mm -hmm. You know what I like? I like how, because I'm using my finger, it kind of all swirls together. Rachel, are you in? Can you hear us? Yeah. I am in. Great. I'm glad to see you. All right. Yeah. Put my face back up. Yeah. And so you, eventually what you'd like is to have your whole paint pot covered in paint. And you'll see that it's kind of thick with paint, right? Right. Nice. I 
We're almost oh, done, Molly. Dang. And then I'm going to go back and do another layer of red because I have some left over. Okay. What do you want to do? More I red? think. Left over. So whatever you started your first color with, you can just keep layering it. And now I'm going to go back and do another second colour. Oh, it's hard to get these paints out. Jane? Jane? Yeah? I made, I made a flag. Whoop! Say that again, darling. Oh, beautiful. Great job. How's everyone else doing? You all getting towards having all of your paint pot covered? Look at Kate's hands. <laughs> they match hey. the color of her shirt. Look at, hey. I think purple and gold oh, go very nice together. Purple right? and gold looks really good. We want it to drip over the edges, Kit. I don't know if you can see it behind. But it's kind of dripping everywhere. It looks like a really messy cake batter, but in paint. Yeah, it really it, is. It, it, it doesn't really explode. Eh? Well, <laughs> you could have a horrific car crash on the way. Well, it's neat. Yeah, you have maybe. that little hole on the inside. Know, it will, uh, here. It'll drip through, too. Now, with this much paint, guys, it might take a day or so for it to dry. So you'll have to do the final steps after it's dried. But we can talk about what that looks like. Okay. All right, and I am just helping it go all over my paint pot because I want my paint pot totally covered. Uh. That looks I am, um, you see, I'm just pushing it all down. Making sure it's all covered. It's so messy. Love it. Kate, you have me beat this time. I'm not too painty. I'm not as painty as you. Oh, magic. She's clean. And whenever you think that your paint pot is done, awesome. Just put it to one side. I'm gonna go and quickly wash my hands, okay? I'll be right back. If you wanna go and wash your hands, you can too. All right. So now I'm gonna, whoop, I'm gonna put my paint to one side. Oh, it is messy. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna get my beads and my yarn. Now. For me, my yarn was too thick to go through the beads that I was using, so I have a string uh, instead, like an actual thread. But I brought one a yarn so you can see. I got my bead ready. Beautiful. So what we want to do is we want to make sure there's a knot in the end 
and you want to make sure that knot is big enough that your beads don't slide over it. So you might have to do a double knot or a triple knot. Whatever you need How to do. Long string be? Pardon? How long should a string be? I, I would say to make it just about beyond your elbow because we're gonna fold it in half and you want it to dangle down below your plant pot. Mm -hmm. okay, so maybe so it's as big as your head when it's folded in half. Head's a good measuring tool. Who is that, Josh? Who have you got there, Joshua? I, I, I got Dee Dee. Dee Dee? Yeah. That's a great name. Who is she? She is a doodle bob. Oh, beautiful. All right, and when you've got your knots, this is the tricky bit. You can start threading the beads on and we want to pull them all down to the bottom. Yeah. And you can do them in any order that you like. And you can make a pattern if you like. This is the fiddly bit. Is that on? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to start stringing your beads. I want to put which guy I am. This is the bit that helps our fine motor skills. Mine too. I'm going to go red. Okay, let's put a big one on the bottom. All right, Mama. I'm sorry. Just so about. that way it holds. I think the little ones have wider. I think they might fall. Now, which one? Anyone? Oh, I'm finding it tricky. Okay. Red. Mama, do it. Okay. These two heads and um, put one on them. That looks good, Kit. I love it. Yeah. Charlie, how are your beads coming on? Are you waiting for your knot? Good. One, two, mom. Three, four. We need more. Michael, how are you doing, hun? More it be. Coming right up, Mama. More beads, yeah. More beads coming right up. Joshua, like, could you do me a favor, hun, and just mute yourself? Yes. Thank you. Michael, how are you doing? Uh, let me show you the cam. Oh, look at that. Your paint is coming on. Yeah, I'm using a paintbrush if that's okay. Say that again. You're a little breaking up. I'm using a paintbrush if that's still okay. Yeah, of course it is. You mm -hmm. can use whatever you'd like. Mm -hmm. Some people really like the feeling of paint on their hands. Other people hate it. So you've got to do whatever makes you comfortable, right? Also, Dana, I am planning on going to the art lab this afternoon. Michael, I think your connection is a... Can anybody else hear Michael clearly? I'm struggling. I'm struggling too. Okay, and Michael, I think maybe your connection's a little rough, but that's okay as long as you're having fun and you can follow along. And Rachel's got her paintbrush out. Great job, Kit. So I've started to get my beads on. Ooh, they're spinny. Does anyone have a really cool bead that they want to show us? That looks great, Kate. We all got such different kinds of beads. Oh. So do you guys want to see my my watermelon one? See what I just made? Ta-da! Oh, wow, look at that. It's a watermelon. It's a watermelon one. It's a cool watermelon. I like that. I have one that looks like a bow. Nice. Just hold it. Can you see? It's like yeah, a, I like it. It's like a bow. A bow tie. Jane. Or a fish with two tails. Yes, Charlie. How much beads do we need? How many beads do we need? I'm sorry, honey, I can't hear you. Say again. 
How many beads do we need? As many as you want. You need to have enough so it dangles down when it folds in half. So you'll have to have a look at your, um, your plant pot and kind of measure it. You want it to come up a little bit further than your plant pot so it dangles down and shines. And then you've got to do two sides. Sorry, I can't give you a number. Who is going back to school next week? Anyone? I'm not, because I graduated. You graduated, Michael. Joshua's going back. Charlie and Vinny are going back. Are you excited to see your friends? Yeah. Just while we're all doing this, I wanted to tell you something super exciting. So I have been working with a theater company and it looks like they're gonna put a show on for us next Wednesday. It's gonna be in the daytime, so if you're at school, I'm sorry. But for those of you who aren't, and it's gonna be socially different, distant, and it's a comedy. Just three actors outside in Riverside Park, and they're gonna make us giggle and laugh. And so I'm gonna be sending some more information about that. So if you wanna come along, it will be a fun time. And we can get outside before it gets cold, before anything else happens with this virus. We can just have a little bit fun. Whoops. All right, mine's coming along. So I think I wanna do kind of double of what I've made so far. Vinny, is it hard to get the beads on or is it okay? It's okay? Good. And you know, if you are painting, you can come back and watch this video later and carry on with the next bit if we run out of time. And that's the best thing. I don't think this one's gonna get finished today, so you can come back to it and finish it maybe once your paint pot is dried. Right, I just have a few more beads left. Jane, do you need to fill the beads all the way to the top of the string? You're so quiet today. Say that again, my darling. You need to fill the beads all the way to the top of the string. I think so, yeah. I think, I think. My string is a little too long, but I think if you did it like kind of to your head, we want two head sizes. Hi, like Kit. What did you want to say? I just want to do one with two. Okay. These two the, remember the idea for the, the beads is that they hit on the outside of your plant pot and make that chimey sound. So as long if you do a short string when you put it in your plant pot, that'll still happen. Any of the bad. Okay. Gonna, you might want to add just okay. a few more beads to give it a chance to ding. Oh, so this one is good. You want to do well, I, I mean, sure I, I, I frankly fine. don't know if the one I, I did is good or not. That is fine. I guess I'll find out after okay. I. Yeah. <laughs> one of these are good. Look at this. Good. Okay, can you just go ahead and mute yourself again, please, hon? Oh, wait, wait. Good. Let me show you the difference. Like... All right. Oh, one of my beads doesn't have a hole in the top has a hole in the bottom but not in the top. Oh. 
Okay, well that one can go to one side. All right, so just because we only have a few more minutes left, I'm going to explain what you're going to do once your plant pot's dried, but you don't have to do this right now, just so you can see. So once you've got all your beads on, you're going to, you're going to find the middle of your beads. So I think my middle is about there. And you're going to, you need to tie a knot in this end to stop them from sliding but you're going to let them, you're going to create a little bit of a loop before you tie your knot. Okay. I know it's hard to see because of my string. And it's, and I'm going to use my other yarn now so you can see. So you're going to try, tie, get a loop in the top. And it's this loop that you want to push through the top of the hole in your plant pot. So it goes on top. And then you're going to get your washer and you're going to push it through the hole in the washer and then the washer will sit on top of the outside of the plant pot. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. And then you want to tie a little knot in the top bit here. So this will, my fingers, pretend my fingers here are the plant pot. My washer is sitting on top and then I'll tie a knot here. So let's still pretend my fingers are the plant pot. There's the washer and then a knot. And then this is your loop that you can hang it up with. Does that make sense? So then all your beads will be down here and your plant pot will be on top. And what I think I'll do is once my plant pot's dry, I'll go ahead and make another video and show you how I did that. How does that sound? Good. Sound okay? So that sounds, so that sounds, um, it sounds kind of great. Thank you, Joshua. I can definitely do that. So what we want at the end is we want your beads on the inside of your plant pot. Your plant pot is kind of around the outside and then this loop to hang it up by. There you go. Yeah. All right. And so we'll kind of stop there. I know we're halfway through. So if you can, will you guys send me a picture of your finished plant pots? Yeah. Your finished wind chimes, I should say. Right? I, then you can put them up on Facebook or you can send them to me via email. Look at that, okay. Ed. That looks beautiful. Um, okay. Jane, is this outside the plant pot or no in they're gonna go through the inside in the center right and does some of the beads hang inside or do you try to get them down below all of the beads hang inside and you can have some that dangle down below if you like okay perfect depends That's how long you make your string right okay thank you uh, i think um it might be useful for me to send a picture of what it will look like when it's finished so you've got the picture on your uh, paper, but maybe I'll follow up with an email with a picture so you can see too. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. All right. And next okay. week, Emma will be back and she'll be leading our craft and I'll be back to my kind of muting and unmuting stuff. Joshua? Yeah. So um, I'm going to um, send my picture to grandma. <gasps> Beautiful. You know yeah. what, guys? If you wanted to, you could save these as Christmas presents and give them to somebody. Or birthday presents, or maybe another celebration, whatever you'd like to do. Yeah. You can save them. I had so much fun with you guys today, and I'm, I'm excited to Hello. see the final projects. Thank you. All right, let's say one big goodbye, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.